Hey, how's it going guys? Zedai here. So, I wanted to share my first impressions on the first Descendant. Now, I've been playing this game for around 8 to 10 hours, give or take. And again, guys, this is just my first impressions. I will have my own uh, review coming out sometime soon. I just want to experience more of the, you know, final moments of the quest and stuff like that. And of course, the end game. Maybe there's some things may change with my thoughts and opinion. Nevertheless, let's continue into this impressions. So, I want to say some of the positives. Genuinely, the game does feel good to play. I enjoy in that front. Now, even though there are problems, and I will get into them a little bit later, but my goodness, there's quite a few, unfortunately, and one of them is quite outrageous as well, but whatever. It's just, in this case, I'm having a blast in terms of the shooting the enemies, the bad guys, and just the kind of grind, and also the aspect of the looter shooter, right? It's there. I like it. There's a little bit of a hook that can really grip you, and I think I like that, because if you guys know me, I've been always asking for sort of a game that kind of give me a Destiny replacement. Because I've been a very, very big fan of Destiny 1, some parts of Destiny 2, a lot of times back in the old days of good old, old school of Call of Duty games as well. I've been an addict on those games, on those multiplayer games. And yet, ever since then, I'm still looking for a specific game, a multiplayer game, a looter shooter, it doesn't matter, MMO, whatever, RPG, and that just would grip me, that would hook me. And yet, I would just constantly come back every day, every week, just to experience that again and also gain these rewards. Destiny did it, Call of Duty did it back in the day, but now I just don't have anything as such. First Ascendant almost has me, almost. But there are some faults, unfortunately, that I'm noticing that it's just... Uh, it's unfortunate, but I can't, it just doesn't grip me all the way, if that makes sense. So, basically, even though the First Ascendant has got fantastic looking worlds in terms of the quality and the graphics, I really do think it looks pretty. And the color schemes and the way that they have made the design, and especially with the open world elements in this game, and how it went about, there are actually some differences, kind of making it feel dystopian-like era with the modernized cyberpunk-ish settings and some of the wilderness in here as well, like everything is in ruins. It's just there's so many varieties in that, and I really appreciate that. Now, uh, before I proceed, guys, I, uh, by the way, you're watching my very early gameplay. I purposely did this on purpose since I do not want to show any sorts of spoilers, and this is why I might be a little bit rusty in terms of my gameplay as well. Now, continuing into the my opinion. I want to mention one of the negatives, and it's already obvious. I don't think I want to stay on this topic for too long. I'm going to have to talk about it, though. Even though this game is a free-to-play game, the monetization, unfortunately, is, well, it's not good. I want to say that to the point is quite outrageous, I want to say. It's extremely expensive. So, I've been playing as Lepic at first, right? I, would, I decided to play as him, I just as soon as they're like a startup, you get to choose three different descendants, basically three different characters. Uh, there was Ajax, I believe, right? A a Ajax, I I that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Viesa and Lepic. I chose Lepic. And so afterwards, I started playing as him, then I kind of nat naturally progressed through and I naturally unlocked uh, Bunny. I started playing as her now, and I continue on playing as her. And I mean, it qu totally makes sense why majority of the people that I notice are playing as Bunny. Well, of course, she's got those fantastic, fantastic cupcakes. <laughs> Nevertheless, I was curious, right? I wanted to see, I want to buy this specific suit, this specific cosmetic that Bunny can wear that kind of is a little bit revealing, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you've seen plenty of those images. And yet, I'm just noticing it, and I'm looking at it. Holy moly. How much are you asking for it? It was very, very high price. So some of the things that you can get that are like a feature, right? Like a little bit of a bundle. So you can get multiple things in one. And it's asking you of a price about, what is it, 20, 25, something euros, dollars within that price range. But the thing that they've done as well, first of all, that's already way too expensive, admittedly. It's too much, I'm sorry. Even if it's a free-to-play game, it's inexcusable for it to be this expensive. That's I have heard the metrics in terms of the quant uh, in terms of the money. How much is actually more expensive than like Warframe? It's like twenty times more expensive than Warframe. That's insane if that's the case. Okay, so the thing that they do it in here in the first Descendant 
even if you want to pick up the specific bundle, you unfortunately will not be able to get it for strict, like say you want to put in $20, 20 euros into it, and you're going to get it right then and there. No, you have to put a little bit more, but you're going to have, you're going to have, be left behind with extra few credits, kind of incentivize you to make more purchases. It's just the way they do it, and the way the grind is within this game, is very heavily incentivized of you making a real money purchase within this game. Again, I understand this is a free-to-play game. I understand that they decided to go with this sort of a monetization route. I don't understand how expensive it is. Okay, if this would have been like maybe somewhat cheaper and somewhat, I'm, I'm, I'll be serious, maybe three, everything, everything needs to go three times cheaper, maybe even four times cheaper, not two times. No, that's not enough. It needs to be three to four times cheaper than currently is everything in the store because the prices are way too high. Okay, so let's get into some of the other positives. Like I mentioned already a little bit in terms of the gameplay. Well, yeah, if it's, it's very good. I really appreciate it. I really like it. It kind of got me down in that hook, in that grip, that I really appreciate in these sorts of games. But the thing I'm noticing that even though the abilities, the gameplay, everything is there, it's good, it feels good, it's fun to play as well, but the way they kind of introduces the mission structure kind of has me concerned. It's quite repetitive, if that's the right way of saying it. I'm noticing that the way you progress through the main quest is basically going through these open world elements. And then I basically have to activate this an, an activity and initial, it initializes. Sometimes I can join some random, sometimes I have to do it by myself, uh, these quests. Now sure, I know you can just have somebody else join with you for the party and whatnot. Okay, that's fine, but you know, I'm a loner. I'm more of a, a lone player. Sometimes, occasionally, I do join in some other teams, and this game is definitely catered for a team player. It's so much easier. Uh, but still, in my opinion, that the way they do it is a little bit too repetitive, but perhaps maybe it'll open up a little bit more when I, while I play through the game a little bit more. And of course, I will mention all this in my full review uh, coming sometime soon. Still, <sighs> I'm having problems with it. Like there's some kind of inconsistency, inconsistencies in terms of the pacing as well. Like one moment is like very heartwarming, heart like just awesome cutscenes, and then it's just quirky, cheesy moments. Oh my goodness! Don't get me started with the voice acting. Some of the voice acting is brilliantly done, but the thing that really kind of frustrated me is the lip sync. The lip sync. I'm pretty sure the characters speak in Korean language, but they have just English dub over it. Or maybe they just done, done such a poor job with the lip sync that is so darn noticeable. Even though everything looks incredible, especially in cutscenes, but the way the lip syncing is done is not very good at all, unfortunately. Now, again, guys, even though I'm having a sort of a good time with it, sort of a good time, but there's some cracks that are reeling in, and I'm very worried about this. And I have looked through some of the reviews and I've seen some of the positives, some of the negatives. I've seen some of the mixed reviews as well, what people think about it. Even from more credible reviewers and people I trust, I'm worried. Still, I will mention everything in my full review for The First Descendant. Currently, I'm playing through it on my PlayStation 5. I didn't really had so many hiccups in terms of the frames per, uh, frame rate. But yeah, I I'm having like no problems with that. I'm having no problems with the matchmaking, I'm having no problems with the internet connectivity, no problems with the uh, latencies and, uh, and frame, you know, FPS as well. And I don't know, I have heard some people having this sort of issues, maybe it was on a different platform, I do not know. Nevertheless, guys, that's all I wanted to have a little bit of a quick chat regarding of the first Ascendant, you know, share my first impressions, so to say. Thank you so much for watching, like I mentioned, I'll have in a few days, maybe in one week maximum, I'll have my full review for the first Descendant. And then of course I'll, I'll let you know if anything changes in terms of in my mind, did the game get worse, did the game get fantastic, I do not know. But yeah, again, thank you, like and subscribe, see you guys all, and have a wonderful day.